One of the biggest stocks in the market is none other than Nvidia. And when a company of this size announces their earnings, the whole market stops and pays attention. So today we're going to discuss Nvidia's upcoming Q3 earnings. We'll go over some potential positive things that could be announced, as well as some things to watch out for over the coming years that could be a detriment to Nvidia. So remember, if you enjoy this content, make sure to drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe. In the last month, Nvidia's up almost 6%, but things are insane when you look at the past year for Nvidia, because year to date this stock is up almost 204%. And over the last 5 years, Nvidia's chart gets even more crazy as the stock price has risen almost 3000%. In the short term, there are a number of different things that can affect a stock's price, some of those being as simple as macroeconomic conditions or even news events that come out. However, over the long Long term, there is one thing that remains supreme, and that is earnings. Earnings for companies drive results in terms of stock price. And right now, Nvidia is set to announce their earnings on November 20th. Analysts have an average EPS estimate of 74 cents with a revenue estimate of $32.94 billion. And this revenue estimate from analysts is slightly above Nvidia's outlook that they provided during their Q2 earnings report. They estimated that their third quarter quarter revenue would come in around $32.5 billion. But it's no surprise that analysts are estimating on the higher side of Nvidia's previously provided outlook, because Nvidia has been a company that over the last four quarters has beat consistently on both their top and bottom line numbers, most recently beating their revenue by almost 5%, and a year ago they beat their revenue by almost 13%. But personally, the question marks that I have around Nvidia are not whether they're going to put up great numbers, it's whether they are going to grow at the pace that investors are expecting. We can see that over the last couple of quarters, they have had incredible growth rates. At one point, they grew their revenue year over year by 265%. They followed that up with 262% growth. However, last quarter, their growth rate shrunk to 122% growth year over year. If we assume that Nvidia is going to come through and beat on their top line numbers by around 5%, that would put their quarterly revenue around 34 to 34.5 billion dollars, which year over year would be a growth rate of about 90%, which is down quarter over quarter by about 30%. And I think as investors start to see this growth rate slow down, they'll begin to wonder if we could potentially see Nvidia's growth year over year go negative within the next year. It's not really out of the realm of possibility because keep in mind, back in 2021, we saw Nvidia growing at 80 plus percent. And soon thereafter in 2023, we saw the company's growth rate actually go to negative 21 percent. However, Nvidia does have one very important catalyst that's coming out here in the next couple of quarters that should help prevent this from happening. And that is their new Blackwell chips. They are just now starting to hit the market and they're expected to continue to be rolled out over the next couple of quarters. One of the first players to actually get their hands on these chips was SoftBank, and they're planning on using these chips in Japan to run supercomputers throughout the country and help boost the overall economy within Japan. If Nvidia comes through and puts up solid numbers around these Blackwell chips, it could be a huge catalyst for the stock moving forward, because it was previously thought that these chips were going to be delayed by two to three months. This would have pushed their first shipments back to the first quarter of 2025. And this would not only affect Nvidia and their numbers over the next two quarters, but it would also have effects on Microsoft, Meta, and Google. And because of that, Jensen actually came forward and promised that shipments of billions of dollars worth of the Blackwell GPUs would be sent out by the fourth quarter of this year. However, moving forward, it's not only good things for Nvidia, because there's going to be competition that comes into this space. And one of those competitors is set to be Amazon. They are going to introduce their new chips in December of this year, and it's supposed to rival some of Nvidia. Nvidia's chips. They see this as a good opportunity to get into because Amazon really needs a lot of these chips. And this reminds me a lot of what we've seen with Apple over the last few years. They have become a chip provider for their computers, for their iPhones, because they see the need for it. And this is very similar to Amazon. They see the need with all the data centers and AI work that they're doing to start developing their own chips. This obviously isn't to say that Amazon is going to run Nvidia 
Nvidia out of business. But when Amazon comes into a market, they don't come to be the number five player. They want to be number one in every category that they compete in. So they could target Nvidia's business in a serious way. And ultimately what that is going to do to Nvidia is affect their gross margins. Their gap gross margins in the most recent quarter was 75.1%, which is actually down quarter over quarter from 78.4% in the previous quarter. And this story reminds me a little bit of a company called Tesla, because Tesla in 2021 was showing tremendous growth of their gross margin. At the start of the year, it was sitting around 21%, and by the end of the year, it had reached 27%. These were great levels, and investors were very excited about the future, and really Tesla maintaining these margins, or potentially even growing these margins even further. However, the inverse happened. Tesla's margin fell to around 17.5% by the start of 2024, and it's currently only sitting around 18%. And there's no denying that there were a number of different factors that have affected Tesla's margin in the last couple of years. They've rolled out the Cybertruck. They've had other things going on with the business, but one of the main factors has been competition coming into the EV space. And we could similarly see something happen with the AI space. We could see someone come in, especially a company like Amazon that wants to be competitive, that wants to be the number one player and compete fiercely with Nvidia, driving their margins down in a significant way and potentially taking away market share. I know I sound super bearish on Nvidia and I'm really not. I just think that there's a lot more downside potential to this stock than there is upside potential. Because we've seen so much growth in such a short period of time, slowing down of growth of their top line or bottom line numbers is going to affect the stock price in a massive way. Right now, we have an average EPS estimate for the current quarter of 74 cents, a low of 72 cents, and a high of 80 cents. What really matters is the long term. And for the current year, the average EPS estimate is $2.85. That is up year over year from $1.19. And analysts in 2026 actually expect this average EPS estimate to go to $4.12, which would be a solid increase year over year and continual growth in their bottom line numbers. And you may think to yourself, what is this guy talking about? Because right now, Nvidia's valuation is currently sitting at a forward P ratio of 37.88, which compared to companies like Amazon that traded at a 54 P for a number of years seems relatively low. However, keep in mind that this forward P ratio is looking at their forward earnings. So it's looking at that $4.12 of EPS expected in 2026. However, if Nvidia comes through and they see their margins hit in a major way throughout 2026 and potentially into 2027, that would affect these numbers. They would not be sitting at a 37.88 forward P ratio. It would actually be much lower if they're putting up numbers in EPS that are a lot less than what analysts are expecting. To put a little more context around that, if they were to come through and match this year's earnings next year of $2.85, that would put their forward P ratio not at 37.88, but at 51. So again, I feel like this video probably comes off as me being very bearish against Nvidia. And I don't want that to necessarily be considered the case. I think if you have a position in Nvidia already, it probably makes sense to hold it and just see what happens. However, if you're looking to establish a new position, it's important to consider both sides of the story. What are the good things that could happen for this company and what are the bad? And when I look at YouTube and the content that's out there, a lot of it is very bullish for Nvidia. I don't see a whole lot of bearish opinions and I think it's important to consider both sides before making an investment decision. But also keep in mind that you should never buy a company just because some random guy on YouTube talked about it. Make sure you are doing your own research, looking into these companies to make sure that they meet your risk tolerance as well as your time horizon. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe. And as always, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. And for the joke of the day, why did the rabbit go to the barber? Check the comments down below for the answer. Thanks for watching.